Welcome to episode 39. Today we rescue Santa, have death claws, and finally get that Nuka Cola bottling plant to three wide. That's right, we expand it to the full maximum size of a room possible. Uh, but in the meantime, we're going to need to upgrade potentially residences because I think we'll max out our people. Oh, look. When it's maximum level, you get some Christmas decorations as well, even though we're now in February. But hey, it's festive. I don't care. Something good festive any time of the year is always good. Okay, as usual, we need to collect our resources. This is going to be a single play session, so uh, we will go through one play. My goodness, so many skills. So many skills. Anyone maxed? Oh no, it doesn't look like we have anyone maxed out. So, not bad. Uh, we just have to collect all of these skills and then our resources. And as I said, we'll get that Nuka Cola bottling plant increased in size. And of course, we have the quests to do and a couple of new people to bring into the vault. And when you see the Death Claw attack later, you'll see the benefits of uh, in getting better and better weaponry. Uh, into that room. Now, uh, just having a quick look through all of our dwellers. So, good old uh, Mary there, as requested. So, we've got Edward Barton. Hey, not quite Clint Barton. It would be good if it was Hawkeye, but uh, it's not. It's just Edward Barton. Okay, again, collect our resources and bring in another person, and it's Roy Bush. Hey, let's just rename him Harry. Okay, right, let's go into the quest. So it's Rescue Santa. Okay, let's get Santa rescued from whatever is in here. And I can give you a hint, some of it's going to be Death Claws. Okay, right, we've got Mole Rats. But of course we do now have fairly good weaponry for our quest squad. So, getting them dispatched nice and quickly. Unlike the survival series, you will see, uh, once I get the next episode published, uh, that in the survival series, uh, the quest going does save the vault, uh, but at the same time, is quite challenging. Okay, we've got some ghouls, let's get them killed. Shouldn't take us too long. There we go, all three dead in a single volley. Always nice. Any corpses? No. But we do have some shiny there. Uh, the only question is, I don't particularly want to level the person up and uh, they are standing directly in front. So let's send them off maybe. No, it kept clicking back over and we still leveled them up. Dagnamit did not, well, the endurance is quite high, but still, we may have found an endurance outfit. Uh, that's actually worth mentioning as well. I've noticed, oh, we got death claws. I've noticed that with quests, uh, that if someone's gonna level up, if you end the quest without leveling them up, they will level up on the way home. Uh, so, I started to think about it, that it might be an idea to put someone in endurance wear, just so you have an endurance outfit for the quest, just in case you don't find any. Oh, we've got some cotton from the Death Claw. Now, you see these Death Claws aren't quite as hard to kill as the ones that are from incidents in your vault. Because these three are, oh, they could do with some health there. So that's one dead, one to go. Come on, die death claw. Any corpses? Yes. That one had eaten a 10mm pistol, apparently. Okay, we just got back a stim pack, that's always good. Onwards and forwards to rescue Santa. Down we go, into the next room. And what have we got? We got the ratty ratty rat roaches. Okay, that's three dead, and two to go. Oblivion is not optional. Okay, any corpses? Yes, with two stim packs. Nice. And a toy car. Okay, let's keep going. We have only got 300 caps, so nothing to get excited about just yet. Oh, and it's mole rats. Insta-kill for two of them. Now, this is where the flamethrower is no longer the greatest weapon in our squad and will be the next weapon that we will look to replace. Magnifying glass. 
And into the next room we go. What surprises? None. Hmm. Okay. Next room. Oh, now we've got some raiders. That does mean potentially some caps. Okay. Let's get this person killed. Come on. There we go. And kill, kill, kill. Three corpses. Let the caps be plentiful. Or not. Actually, that's not terrible. Ooh, a rare blueprint. We are at 800 caps. Not bad. We've got two critical hit. We've got three critical hits. Might as well use one. Just get this guy finished off. Three times damage. There we go. Nice. Dead, dead, dead. Now for the corpses. Okay, 860 caps. Not yet at a thousand. Into the next room we trundle. And there's a whole lot of nothing in here. Down another level. I think we've only got two to go. Yes, we have. Okay, anything in here? No, just some shiny and a rare weapon recipe. Or rare recipe. We don't know if it's a weapon or an outfit. Okay, and a stim pack. Yeah, nothing. And more death claws. Critical damage time. Five times damage. Oh, yeah. Five times damage. Oh, yeah. Although it wasn't technically needed, but hey, why not? Let's keep going. We've got a stim pack. Now, surely this must be Santa. I feel like we're being watched. Yes, that's because I'm watching you, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, you saved me in Christmas. I couldn't ask for better helpers. What can Santa give you? Well, I think some firepower. Come on, what have you got for us? Mm, were they both legendaries? Infiltrator, 8 to 13 damage. It is a legendary assault rifle, but it does do only 8 to 13 damage. Ooh, combat shotgun. That's more like it. Ooh, and a toy car. What a nice end to the quest. Okay, let's have a look at hardened combat shotgun, 13 to 16 damage. So again, not quite as much as the flamethrower, but it's a multi-shot weapon, so... Hmm. But, let's go back to the vault. Let's double-check first. Make sure we've picked everything up and healthed everyone up, because we're going to lose anything that we haven't used. Yep, he needed it. Okay, might as well use the stim packs, because we've got loads, and we're at capacity back at the vault. So there we go. Infiltrator, original Santa suit, and a combat shotgun. Nice. Let's rush them home with some Nuka Cola Quantum. And collect the daily caps. So we've got a hardened 3 2 pistol, a plasma pistol. Nice, and that was it. Okay, time to collect our resources. Lovely stuff. Okay, and our stim packs, and we are about halfway through the episode now already. Uh, time flies when you're having fun. Now, as I said, we need to expand our Nuka Cola bottler, but at the moment we only have three and a half thousand caps. Don't worry, by the end of the stream, end of the stream, this is an episode. By the end of the episode, we will have enough to get it expanded, as I said at the beginning. Okay, now, these festive quests, still limited time. Uh, this, is, I think, is the last episode where we have this festive content. Uh, let's do the Spirit of Taking. Ten hours. I mean, to be honest, Grandmother is ten hours as well. But let's send them straight back out. So, Jeffrey. Oh, there's the Mysterious Stranger. Do we try and find him? Nah. There we go. Allocate our stim packs. So, twelve. And, of course, Radaways. Also, twelve. And start quest. Certainly not going to use five of our quantum colas to do a ten hour journey instantly. And I even found the mysterious stranger and got 410 caps. Oh yes. Okay, let's do some leveling up because that's going to give us some extra caps. Although this guy's only level two. So there's three caps. whoop de doo doo well, Let's have a party. Okay, outfit-wise, he was in the handyman jumpsuit, but of course we now have the original Santa, original Santa suit. 
Okay, let's get you leveled up as well there, Evelyn. You're also a level 2 to 3, so that's again only 3 caps. And you as well, so again another level 3 up. And do we have any perception wear? Now let's just use luck. <clears throat> okay, again, collect our resources and start going over everyone that needs to be leveled up. So, endurance wear, level up, put them back into the outfit that they were wearing. Good old ghost costume. And again, we've got somebody else here, so let's get them leveled up. Endurance wear, level up. That was a level 9 person, so we're getting there. We're at 3,875 caps. Now we've got Perception 2, Endurance 2, Agility 2, and Luck 2 uh, with that outfit. But uh, we do need something that gives agility, of course. So there we go. Don't know why I put her back in that when she was wearing the Handyman outfit. Uh, I don't know why I scrolled to the bottom. Scroll up. Keep going. That's it. No, keep... Okay, fine. And we've got another Deathclaw attack. Lovely stuff. <clears throat> now, what you'll see from this is how much better our dwellers do with the better weaponry. Now, already got a hardened assault rifle, but what we do have is hardened combat shotgun. And click on the other dweller and give her or go to the next rooms and give other people decent weaponry. Let's give her the Infiltrator and get her moved back. Because we've got the Laser Gatling Gun in here, which is just going to shred through these uh, Death Claws. And everything else is going to be lower damage. But you can see that our rooms now have very, very good weaponry. Uh, one Death Claw is dead already and is only in the second room. Again, these guys are moving through. Do we have anything that does more damage? Nope. Let's have a look at that Laser Rifle. I think that's doing more damage as well. Might as well use the stim packs because we're at maximum storage pretty much. And again, into the power room they go. I think the death claws may make it through the power room and uh, just get to the water treatment facility. And after that, we'll be dead. So there's still two left, but we just got rocking uh, weaponry in here. So hardened assault rifle, that's an upgrade. Armor piercing hunting rifle, 5 to 9 or 6 to 7, or we just leave with the shotguns. But as you can see, Deathclaw number 2 is now dead. And again, in here, armor piercing, 5 to 9. Sawn off shotgun, 6 to 7. That's already a 6 to 8. And there we go, dead. I didn't even move down the better weapons. So the Death Claws are dead before reaching level minus two. So they only done the top two floors and they were exterminated. Now as we level up the radio room people, or swap in max level people uh, with max level weaponry, so very good weaponry, um, the Death Claws will get even less further. They'll only make it to the power room and then they'll be dead. Because at the end we will have three radio rooms, a level one, a level two, and a level three. So that is six people with good weaponry plus the two on guard. So that is eight dwellers with high-end weapons. And it's a very good defense mechanism for your vault. Uh, I've played around with many, many, many layouts. And people that go, yeah, you need to have your power room on the top floor. Yeah, but that's one room. And it's just strength. Uh, at the end of the day, what you really want is some maxed out dwellers that don't level up because they're in the radio room, because they don't earn experience and you've got the same number of people divided into three rooms and that actually then slows down whatever incident is attacking whereas if it's just one big room uh, they'll deal with that room and then move on so you are better having three it's like a breaking mechanism for the rooms right initiate robe uh, charisma 2 have we got anything better i don't think we have so i think you might as well stay in the initiate robes there Okay, let's collect some resources, and we are near the end of this episode, but as you can see, I'm just going to go level up, because I can't even be bothered, and what that does is, look at the totals, we've now got 4,517 caps. That is enough to build, that's right, the final Quantum Cola. Well, it's not a quantum cola, it's just nuke cola. But there we go. We now have a maximum size nuke cola bottling plant. 
Uh, probably worth getting somebody else in there with some endurance wear. But other than that, bingo bango, we now have a full size Nuka Cola bottling plant. There we go, she's endurance eight. What's she? Uh, she's quite high on endurance as well. Uh, he's not. And neither's he. No weapons. Let's get them added. That'll do. And that pretty much for today's episode is it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Don't forget to check out the survival series, uh, which I will link uh, to the end of this video, as well as my Fallout 4 Top 10, which will also be at the bottom left-hand side of the screen. So if you want to check out the survival series, it's bottom right. And my Fallout 4 Top 10 tips for the early game is bottom left of your screen. But until next time, I'm Know It All Gaming. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next time, all it leaves me to say is good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and of course from me, good night.